Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can fix this issue of XAMPP Apache not starting on Windows 11. So we will resolve two issues that is blocked ports or improper privileges. First, let's see the most common one that is blocked ports. Open XAMPP and first of all, you need to check the configuration. Now, if you are seeing a blocked port, that means that some other application is using that port and you need to either close that application or change the port in which Apache listens. So search for LISTEN and you will see port 80 here. So let's change this to 8080. Okay. And let's just save this by pressing Ctrl S. Let's close this and let's try to start this again. And as you can see, now our Apache is listening on port 8080. And this is not enough. It's just starting. But to check your websites, what you need to do is instead of entering something just like localhost slash your website name, you need to enter 8080 first because by default, browser sends request to port 80. If you have something other than 80, like 8081, 8082 or anything else, you need to enter that port also here. So if your issue is solved, it's all good. But if your issue is still not solved by changing the port number, what you need to do is let's fix the privileges issue. So again, go to config and check where your default folder is. So if I go down, let's maximize this and below the modules, you'll see something like directory. Where is it? Uh, sorry, document root. And it is inside htdocs, right? So let's check if our user has proper privileges. So let's go to this directory here and everything needs to be inside this directory. All of your projects need to be inside htdocs. If they are not, your issue might be because of that but if they are so let's go to our directory here inside xamp inside htdocs and this is my website it is inside htdocs so what you need to do is right click on this and click on properties click on security and here there are a bunch of different groups and usernames right system administrators and users here system and administrators have everything allowed like system also has everything allowed and authenticated users also have everything allowed instead of just the full control. So what you can do is your user, that is the current user, your user might not have read and these privileges. So in my case, I just don't have the modify privileges. So what I can do is just click on edit. And here you can see these things, these groups and users have all these privileges but my user does not have full control and modify. So what I'll do is I'll give these privileges to my user and click on apply, click OK, click OK again. And you can try to start your Apache after doing this. And if it was a privileges issue, it should be fixed. Now, these are the two most common problems. If your issue is still not resolved, what you need to do is click on logs and click on Apache error.log. So this will show you what the actual error is. Scroll down and wherever, whenever you try to start your Apache, the error log will be appended here and new error log will be shown here, which will show you what the exact error is. And if your issue is not solved, let me know what your error is by checking this page and I'll try to help you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.